it going guys and welcome back to another video to an angle that I haven't done since the Going Green documentary. For some reason I don't know why I just thought it would be a good idea to uh, put you guys in the cupboard because that's exactly where you are right now. But anyway, I am currently waiting for uh, Warren to show up. Um, he is late, I'll be honest, <laughs> he is late. So I thought instead of waiting and doing the intro wherever we're going today, uh, I'd do the intro here, uh, hence why you guys are in a cupboard. <laughs> But anyway, we are going locally today. We've got a few sites that we want to check out that are local, uh, not too far away from me. Uh, there's a couple of sites that I have already done, um, but it's good to check back sometimes and see what they're like, see if like anyone's like wrecked them, whatever. Um, but also, today is also kind of a test because, um, as you guys might know, I recently got a GoPro Hero 6. Alongside that, I've just bought a new gimbal for the GoPro Hero 6. Let me let you in on a little bit of insight as to why I don't use a gimbal. I'm not a huge fan of gimbals. Um, I mean, I do like what they do. I like the quality footage you can get out of using one. Uh, but in practicality of like carrying one around for the entire day, it is a pain. It is so annoying uh, that I've just stopped using mine. I've actually got it up for sale at the moment because I just don't use it. I bought another gimbal, which sounds ridiculous because I don't use gimbals, but uh, the reason I bought this one was because it's for the GoPro Hero 6 and it's a lot, lot lighter. And funny enough, even though it costs a lot less than the actual gimbal that I have for my big camera, it does a lot more. Like a lot more. So today is a test to sort of see how that's going to work, how easy it is to carry around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do kind of like intros, outros, talking to the camera and stuff will be done on this camera and then everything else like the explores and stuff will be done on the GoPro. So like I said, today's a bit of a test. Some of the sites you would have seen already, but I'm going to try and make it interesting, have a fun day with Warren and uh, yeah, should be good. So uh, once he turns up, we'll get going. exploring. This is an old fuel depot which recently became accessible again so uh, we thought we'd check it out. Warren's never seen it before so uh, this will be new for him but also I'll try and look down if we can a little bit into the lower levels like not too much because they're covered in oil. Again if you guys remember from last time I'll show a short clip now but it is covered in oil. So this is this is what we've got. I've shown the torch on there. It's all this rubbish in the way. Um, there's uh, water and oil mix down here. Not good. I think it smells very oily. It's very, even, the, even the stairs are very oily and uh, sticky. I think we might be beat on this entrance. It's still really cool, I don't know, even though I've seen this already. It's been a while, but it is still really cool. Yeah. 
So guys, we are in a super cool place, but uh, we just found this and it's amazing. We've been playing with it for ages. But listen to this, honestly. Hello! I really hope that comes out on the camera, but honestly, it just echoes for ages. That's so sick. Well, do you know what? I bet these winches would still work. It wouldn't surprise me because they'd be well oiled. <laughs> yeah, put that up. Push that back in still. Give a little toy, air twist. Look at that. You can still start going back in there. Look. There's a thread gone on, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 it's working. Holy crap, it was working. That's the actual break for it. So, yeah, like, so when you want to put a brake on it to stop it from doing it, all you do is tighten that and the metal back goes on to the extra wheel to stop it from moving. That is quite cool because it's actually, it's actually turning as well. Mate, shut up. <laughs> oh, that's actually working though. It still works. That is really cool. I've been in other stuff and this stuff's all seated up and doesn't work or doesn't work. <laughs> right, let's continue. It's funny, these actually look almost, some of them sort of look in better condition than they were before. It's like they're trying to restore this way. Is there actually about that there? Um, there's, there's a bit. I mean, this, that, that's just a room that doesn't lead anywhere. Oh, what's that? Lust founded. What? Lust founded. I don't know what that is. What? No graffiti? I have no idea. 1982 to 1994. What's that about? <laughs> I'm so not used to the controls of this guy's <laughs> I'm probably upside down for you now. <laughs> oh god. So we'll come up to like a room in a bit, because it goes around a corner. Yeah. And we'll come up to a room and there's like, um, it looks like it's going to be fire or something. Because it's just it's black. I think it's just oil. That's... Look at that. Still like, the rope's still got tension. Is that a counterweight or something? Um, I don't know what it's doing up there. I'm going to call too much because there is a mess of metal back with it. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm assuming it's not even some sort of valve or something, but that's why you have that handle and you put it there and that acts as a brake. So when you get to the tension, you can uh, keep the brake on. This is pretty cool. <laughs> They're proper weighted wellies. <laughs> yeah, he's bad. Like I said, this is why I didn't go downstairs last time because I was like, Jesus Christ, there's just so much. What, this goes down? Yeah, there's a, there's a ladder in that room. There you go. And that's how you get downstairs. <laughs> nah. Sorry guys, we're not going to see that because that's just retarded. Yeah, it is, it is a shame. I'll, I'll link a load of guys' channels who have actually done this so you can see their videos if you want to. But yeah, we didn't come prepared. We've got no waders, no boots, no nothing. So yeah. yeah I, like, I like my biking boots, so I'm not going to do that. He's carrying on. Well, because it goes straight through from that back bit where we entered to the front where the doors are, which is on the other side of the hill. The one thing I will say that does confuse me about this though, yeah. is that there's two entrances like this, but we're, we only see one here. Okay. So there must be another tunnel running parallel to this that no one's had access to. 
unless it comes straight up from downstairs. Oh, that's that's been closed over as well. Yeah, that's surprise me. Someone's actually closed this as well. Because that, yeah, that was open last time. Yeah, because we went in there. Not much, it's just like an electrical room. Camera hall there, camera hall. <laughs> so, you look like a serial rapist. <laughs> anyway, that's always explaining. <laughs> 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 yeah. so, as I was explaining.